Well, Nathan, a fantastic result tonight after a disappointing trip up north on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Has this made up for it? Um, I've partly. Uh, it's never nice to to lose, especially in the manner w that we did. Um, I think as a whole, one to eleven, we we weren't great. Um, and you know, it's, it's it's disappointing for all the fans that that came all that way, and and we really appreciate their support. We know how difficult it is to get up there. Um, and yeah, tonight we wanted to put that right. Um, doesn't put it right, but you know, it goes some way to doing that. And it was it's really important to make this this place a fortress. That's what the gaffer said to us before the game, and um, we've looked good at home against Gateshead, and we look good tonight. So you know, positive signs. Yeah, I, I know you do know a fair bit about the league from your time with Solly Hull mm. last year, so you'd have been as aware as all the supporters about the toughness of the start of our schedule. Um, yeah. And uh, Eastleigh, difficult team. Uh, they're not quite in the same style as Barrow, but they're along those lines, aren't they? So you know what you're going to get to an extent, and uh, we stood up to it well. Yeah, I mean, I played Eastley right at the end of the season where they'd, they'd cut their budget and, and they were playing a young team. Um, so this was a different different proposition tonight. And you're right, they do play direct, not as direct as Barrow by any means, but you know, they, they play to their strengths um, and, and they're a good side. They've got a lot of experience, they've got a lot of ex-league players um, and, and they've had a really good start to the season as well. So we knew it would be a tough test and, and I thought in the first half we stood up to the physical test uh, maybe he didn't play as much football as we'd hoped. And then in the second half, once we'd, we'd dealt with the physicality, we then got the ball down and played really nice football and, and that helped develop a lot of chances. Yeah, I agree. I think there were there were little passages within the game where we were fantastic, I thought. There was some superb football being played. Is, is this because Anthony's message is gradually getting across and, and with more and more training sessions, people are getting more used to what he wants? Definitely. I mean, he, he said at half-time he, he thinks we can play more and, and I agree with him. Um, it's always difficult because at the back you don't want to give goals away but the, the message from the gaffer is that you know we're good on the ball let's be confident and let's let's try and play out from the back and, and those things obviously we don't want to cost goals and we don't want to be too risky but you know it's, we want to entertain the fans and the gaffer's been brought in I'd imagine to play a certain style when he's really keen on playing football and we worked on that in the week trying to keep the ball and and in, in spells we did it tonight I think we can still do it better and, and finding the balance of risk versus trying to play good football because we all want to play good football so everyone's comfortable on the ball and, and yeah the, the more we play together the more football we're going to play but tonight was all about the result so um, yeah. you know, pleased with that and uh, when the, they held the board up and it said five minutes of added time and that five minutes took at least ten minutes to go mm. by and yeah. uh, it was it was the Alamo to use the standard football cliche wasn't it yeah no it was um, it was similar to Gateshead actually you know they, they came on to us um, I think the second penalty was very, very harsh from my view. I haven't seen it back, but that was disappointing. Um, and, you know, it's, the teams are always going to come at you in the last 10 minutes of the 2 1, you know, whether, whether they're at the bottom of the league or, or whether they're at the top. The, the last 10 minutes of a game is always going to be difficult, but the boys were brilliant in the box. They came and headed things, and, you know, I made a couple of saves, but I wasn't massively busy. Um, so, yeah, it was, I thought we, we played at the right time and then we defended it really well at the end. And uh, turning to what should really be the main topic of our discussion was the penalties. <laughs> um, never mind whether they were or weren't or what they were given for, because that's outside of all our control. Yeah. But um, you saved the first one superbly. What, how did you decide what to do? Is it just instinct? Did you know which? Uh, you, did you know about the Eastleigh penalty taker? Yeah, it was, it was instinct. Um, I don't like to watch penalties. Because I think that in in this league, with the footage that you get, like at the start of the season, I would have only seen one penalty. I was aware that he took a penalty last week, but I, d I don't want to know which way he goes because it's different if you get six, seven, eight penalties like they do at the top level, and then you can really make a good good idea and a good guess. But with with how little footage we get at this level, it's you know sometimes knowing a little bit can be worse than knowing nothing. So I, I just prefer to you know wait stand up as long as possible and then make my decision as late as possible. And of course he went to your left the first time when you saved it and then he went the other way the second one, didn't he? Yeah, well, it was a different player, wasn't it? Oh, so, was it? Oh, well, yeah, I, I'm 100 yards away no, yeah. and I had no idea what was going no, on. No, it, was a, it, was, it was a different player. <laughs> oh, and, right. um, I thought that he had a, a similar run-up and I, you know, I, I, I stood up as long as possible and 
and I just made that instant call at the end, but it's obviously very difficult to save a pen, and it's a great feeling when, when you do save one. Sure, and uh, going back to the first one, you made them wait an age, didn't you? Yeah, of course, that's something I... I, I mean, like. is that a conscious, you know, deliberately hanging it out as long as the referee will let you get away with? Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up watching Czech, and that's that's what he did. Yeah. You know, always tried to make, um, you know, the, the time that the striker has to think longer and longer. Um, you've got to find a balance because you don't want to get booked for doing it, but, um, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's something which the more pressure that you can put on them, because at the end of the day they should score every time, so the more things you can do to... Um, to put them off the better. Absolutely. Finally, um, what we thought and, and could still well be a very, very tough game on Saturday, home home here to Leighton Orient, but they've got absolutely hammered tonight, apparently. Yeah, but that, I think that will make the test tougher because, um, you know, if, if, if well, we had we had two negative results and we were really determined today to put those negative results right. Um, you know, they have a lot of experience in, in, in their team you know, the likes of Joby McAnoff, Charlie Lee, etc. So they will they will not they'll be hurting, you know, yeah. their top players and, and they'll come back and I think if anything it will make the atmosphere better because, you know, they'll really be up for it and, and, and it'll be a tough, tough test and, and we go again Saturday. Again, we, we think we're strong at home so far, we have been and now it's important that we rest up and, and prepare for this tomorrow, yeah. Great. And uh, I know I said finally, but finally, finally. They say all goalkeepers are mad. Um, do you actually spend most of the game hoping the ball doesn't come anywhere near you, or do you want all the play to be in your box so you can make loads of saves? <laughs> I personally like saving shots. I think that's right. a, that's a strength of my shot stuffing. So obviously, you want shots to st- save, but I think at this, you know, when I was growing up playing academy football, I always wanted them to shoot. I think at this level, you it's, it's all about the three points. And, yeah. and at the end of the day, if I do nothing and, and we get three points, I'm happy. And and I think. You get that through communication, and the the better you are organising your defenders, the less shots you have to save. So, yeah, I'm I'm happy if I have nothing to do. But equally, if if, if we do have a game where I'm under a lot, where we're under a lot of pressure as a team, you know, I'll, I'll try and do my best to to keep the ball out of the net. And are you mad? <laughs> I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. No, I don't think so either. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers. Thank well you. played tonight.